Hi guys, so this is a little walkthrough of the Tracing Paper Simulator Pack. So when you first open this, you'll notice that you have this window. This is a brief guide just to show how this works. You can hide this by clicking on the little eye over here. So this area marked in green here is where you'll put all of your work. So if we go into here, you'll see that we've got a few sections already ready to go. So you've got the ink texture, so you can have that on different styles depending on the look you're after or you can have it completely switched off and so we have the three layers here so you've got the top layer and that's the top print then you've got the one underneath and that's the flip side overleaf which is coming through here that you can see and then we've got the surface print and that's the bit right on the bottom that's nice and clear without the blur effects going on and then down here we have some adjustments for ripped paper so you can have the ripped paper on or off you can move that around as well so if you wanted to position that in a different way you can you can have that overlay um, and then the same with the one underneath as well so you can move that into any angle you want or if you prefer a more clean look you can switch the ripped edges off and then you can put the clean one on so in here we've got this switched off at the moment so we could turn that on and then you could have a nice clean cut edge so we could bring that all the way down like so or we could have it just coming in slightly on the page or if you like which i quite like this effect it's just to flood the entire document with the effect and then you can do something and you just stack it all up and make some nice interesting layers so for this one we're going to just keep the ripped edges on as standard so what we want to do is go into the first one so we double click the thumbnail to go through to this smart object now in here we have an option for ink bleed so if we zoom in you'll see that that has a nice ink bleed effect going on if you want that double click to go into this again and then you can add all your design elements in here so you can either drag and drop your design in here or just play around with what you have and if we close that down and click save that will update with your new artwork that you've dropped in and that will then update with the ink bleed effect that only works for black and white at the moment but there are little techniques that you can use if you wanted to add some color to that so you could add a little color overlay for example and some purple and if you play around with the blend modes you could get some nice interesting colors coming through like that so for example that's quite a nice one with the bleed coming around the outside so that's entirely, entirely your preference um, and um, or if you just like to use this layer here you could just turn this one off and then drag and drop some artwork in there that will be over the top on your main artboard so we'll keep that one switched on and we won't save this we'll just leave it as it is and then overleaf so this is going to be the section that's flipped underneath so in here we double click this thumbnail to go in it's the same thing again so you can put anything you like in here you can move any items around or whatever it is that you want to do so you can drag and drop your artwork in again um, you can change the color of the tracing paper here so we could move that to like a red or whatever um, we can have it as white or we can just have it completely, completely switched off I'm going to leave that and then finally the last layer down at the surface print this is where you would drop whatever you want onto the bottom so at the moment we've got some paper textures here so we could switch the paper textures and this comes as standard or you can drag and drop your own texture in there um, we can change the color as well of that texture so you could have a nice dark black one um, or you could have red whatever it is that you fancy and then we can stick some elements in here so for example at the moment I've just got like a grid in there and this color this color gradient going on and the same thing again with the top layer you can add some ink bleed going on as well so for example this this is nice clean rich text which is all editable and if we are to close this layer down you'll see it gets the ink bleed texture from this layer here doing all the work in the smart object so you literally don't have to do anything it's all ready to go and it's all down to preference of what you prefer again we've got the light ink here or we can have the dark ink so again that's your preference 
and again if you just wanted to drag and drop something on to cover that whole surface that could be a piece of a photo of some wood it could be some marble it could be any texture and then that would just flood the entire background for this I've chosen to use another paper texture but the list is endless you can do whatever you like with this and that is a little run through of how to use the tracing paper simulator pack thanks for your time